Major General John Enenche also disclosed that the protection of lives and properties of all peace-loving people wherever they live in Nigeria was unquestionable. For the advance, dedication of the armed forces of Nigeria to the protection of lives and property of all peace-loving people wherever they live in Nigeria. I will want to emphasize this particular point that Defense headquarters reaffirms the dedication of the armed forces of Nigeria to the protection of lives and property of all peace-loving people wherever they live in Nigeria. He however requested the general public to furnish the security agencies with information on suspicious activities of individuals or groups. The general public is requested to furnish the security agencies with information on suspicious activities of individuals, groups, or organizations that are contrary to Nigeria's national security. Regarding its internal and foreign military activities, the DDI said the various operations and exercises in the defense headquarters have been sustained. The DDI also reacted to the proscription of IPOP, labeling it a terrorist organization. A statement of this headquarters that came through me is not at, par at all with what the Chief Prime Minister came out to clarify. Did we say IPOP prescribed? The answer is no. And I can bring it out for you here. So, my dear, go and read it well again. Over and over, the military did not prescribe IPOP. Due process was followed to prescribe them. The job of the military was to diagnose security issues and warn the public of consequences and that is part of our media operation. The defense headquarters once again reaffirms its unalloyed loyalty of the armed forces of Nigeria to the commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari. In Abuja, Godwin Amundi, Liberty News.